What's up guys, it's Jack again here to give you more coverage of E3. This time we're going to look at what PC has to offer. So let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PC Gaming Show! The honour of first trailer went to the world exclusive of Evil Genius 2, the real-time strategy game where you play as the villain and build your own spy-killing hideout. This was followed up by Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, the sequel to the action RPG style game that fans are very excited for. One of the bigger announcements at this conference was that Chivalry 2 would be coming to Steam in 2020, and they promised we would be seeing things such as game modes where you can play up to 4 versus 1, and huge 64 player battles, comparing itself to the likes of Game of Thrones. One standout game was called Midnight Ghost Hunt. It's a new take on the prop hunt game modes in first person shooters, where one team plays as ghosts, able to inhabit inanimate objects to hide, and the other team plays as ghost hunters. The premise is fun and the game looks really enjoyable. Some more games that stood out to me were Planet Zoo, a highly customizable zoo builder, Chris Tales, a self-proclaimed love letter to JRPGs, and a personal favourite of mine, Maneater, which they described as Grand Theft Auto but you play as a shark. There were a fair few really visually stunning games on show here today, including El Ejo, Unexplored 2, and Genesis Noir. All three of these games have really distinct styles and interesting stories to be told. One hardware announcement we got was the new CRG5, a 27 inch curved monitor from Samsung at a fairly reasonable price, however it unfortunately doesn't support 4K. Something that did make me laugh was the announcement for the new game Conan Chop Chop, a cartoony hack and slash roguelike. This game was originally announced on April Fool's Day this year at Funcom, so everyone thought it was a joke. Apparently not, it really does look like a lot of fun though. The creators of Sniper Elite 4 have been working hard to develop their new shooter, Zombie Army 4 Dead War. This game seems to bring some inventive weapons on what I can only presume to be multiplayer game, as well as that distinct Sniper Elite style. The last trailer we got was an announcement for Baldur's Gate 3, and they were fairly secretive about the whole thing. If you don't know Baldur's Gate, it's an RPG set in the Dungeons and Dragons universe and the guys leading the game seem really keen to make it as close to the tabletop game as they can. I think there's some really cool looking stuff there. Don't forget that I'm doing coverage of every E3 event this year, so make sure you go down and subscribe so you don't miss any.